How are you guys doing? You having fun? Welcome to the unveiling of a discovery that will change the face of science forever. An Asian guy with thug appeal. <laughs> Question, if I could really do magic, if I had the power to make my own dreams come true, do you think I would be here doing magic tricks? Yes, I would. I would be right here on this stage displaying my life's passion and sharing the stage in the Penn and Teller Theater Show. This is, I'm gonna get really emotional. This is gonna be a big thing for me because I get to relive uh, one of the happiest moments of my life. When I got the call to do the Penn and Teller television show, Fool Us, it really meant something to me for three reasons. One, uh, these guys were my heroes growing up. They really influenced me as a magician. Second of all, this is the hottest show on television for magic. For any magician, this is it. And third of all, Asian performers in American media, relative to our demographic size, our, our talent pool and our achievements, were still today relatively invisible. So I really wanted to, to make this one count. And um, I did, yeah. yeah. So my mind roamed the universe, and I wrote the most epic script I could. And as I was performing this act, energies intersected. Something really happened. I could swear, during the performance of this act you're about to see, I could hear parents across the nation turning the volume up and telling their children to pay attention because they could sense intuitively that I am one of the rare voices on television who would inspire their kids to read Shakespeare, strive for a greater level of thought and language, and grow up to become smart, articulate individuals who would contribute to the advancement of human civilization and social harmony for everyone in the world. World. So yeah, I was having a rockin' time. The act went really well, and afterwards I got hundreds of messages from people around the world. Guys saying they were using my epic monologue as their wake-up call, their workout track. I had people thanking me for inspiring them to believe in, in themselves, believe in their dreams. Parents thanking me for motivating their kids to train harder at whatever they do. And uh, this is true, a certain uh, American gentleman wrote me just last week, uh, saying that he hopes he gets to meet me in person one day, shake my hand, because uh, my message of belief and human potential uh, changed his mind when he wanted to, to take his life. And that's when I realized uh, that this segment went a little bit beyond just a magic trick. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay? Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to hurt your brain using these four cards and four coins. In an original routine I call the ultimate matrix. In just a moment, these coins are going to magically appear and disappear, changing the positions around this square, vanishing from their corners to all reappear together in one corner underneath this card. And if I can create the illusion that these coins move without using my hands, well then, I might just fool you. This is magic in its purest and simplest form. Four coins in a square, a card over each coin. Everybody watch carefully because this does happen very, very fast. Hi, Shaw. Aye! And uh, I just did it. Was that too fast for you guys? Not a problem. Nobody blink, and uh, I'll just do it one more time. <laughs> one by one, so that you can actually see the coins travel. I'll start here at the front openly so that you can see everything. Everybody, watch this coin travel. Watch the next one go from the side. And the people from this side may actually see the last coin vanish from my fingertips. Watch this coin disappear, creating a tremor in the force as 100,000 children watching this suddenly decide that magic is cool. <laughs> if you haven't Googled me yet, do so tonight. This time, visibly, so that you can actually see the coins jump. Here we go. This is the one that hits people hard. 
It's gonna look like camera tricks, but this is live, and if you were sitting right here in front of me at this table, this is what it would look like. All I have to do is make the mysterious Asian sounds. There's the first. And that makes three. The next one, no hands, just because I can. Vanishes here and reappears in the corner, and I am a beast. <laughs> That's what it looks like using four cards for cover. This time, no cards, just my bare hands and a dose of honesty. I've been performing magic since I was eight years old, and it took me 12 years to create this act. So for me, this is not just a magic trick. This is something far deeper and a thousand times more savage. A work of terrifying beauty that has been growing all my life like an uncontrollable weed in the garden of my mind. I have crossed oceans of time and vast empires to be here, so I take the honor of performing here today very seriously. The amount of mental energy I've invested in creating this act could demolish planets. This is the most epic monologue in the history of magic, for I am here to inflict psychological damage. And that means we're not done yet. This guy's insane, he should have his own show. Who said that? I did, but you were thinking it. Watch this, you have now witnessed the devastation I can generate using two hands. I know, I'm even funnier when I go unhinged, unscripted. But now, let's take it to the next level. That's what it looks like using two hands. This time, with just one hand. You can ask any close-up magician from around the world about performing a coin, coin illusion this clean using just one hand, and they will tell you it is physically impossible. And it looks like this. Watch the next one. My hand goes nowhere near those coins, but still vanishes from here, reappears over here, and I am the Jackie Chan of magic. The next one will travel from here to there, creating a perfect square of four coins. Watch carefully. I've seen it all, nosebleed, seizures, here it goes on the count of three. There's one, that's two, that's three. And now, as promised, I can actually show you a perfect square formed by one, two, three, and four coins with just one hand. You would not believe how epic this feels. My heart is pounding, and I can feel the adrenaline coursing through my veins. In the generations to come, I will be imitated. Crappy magic will crumble, and the earth will adopt. And so I would like to thank each and every one of you for sharing this moment with me, because this is my dream come true. So for everyone watching, if you have a dream, never give up believing in your dream, living your dream, and doing something every day to make that dream happen. But remember one thing, no matter who you are, no matter how hard you work, or how good you think you are at what you do, there will always be an Asian who takes it to the next level. I'm Ryan Hayashi, the Samurai Master of Magic. Show me some love! <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> Thanks so much, Thanks so good. <laughs> Thank you. What do you have? A yeah. trophy for you. Uh, <laughs> and don't forget, it says F-U right on it there. Why does it say F-U? Is that a message to me? You fooled us. Okay. <laughs> Again, it's an honor. Thank you very much. It's always amazing. It'll take you to the next level. You guys are my heroes. Thank Man, you so, so much. much.
Thank you very much.